the, if the potential energy, if it was like this, the potential energy would be zero. Okay? But in our case, potential energy zero is not the most, most smallest it can be. The smallest it can be is when it's lined up. That's the most negative the potential energy can be, you see. People always have this idea that the lowest potential energy is zero. So objects, when you drop them, the lowest potential energy is zero here on the ground. But not necessarily. If I define the ceiling as potential energy zero, then the ground is potential energy is negative, right? So the uh, potential energy zero is not necessarily the smallest. It's whatever the most negative that it can be, right? So um, now, what's the potential energy going to be when it is lined up? So uh, potential energy, we can say it this way. The potential energy minimum is minus magnitude of u, magnitude of b, times cosine of zero. Because when they're lined up, the cosine is, uh, the angle between them is zero. So this is just one. So magnitude of u, so again, we're just simply taking the magnitudes. And square root of 4 plus 9 plus 25. And then square root of 36 plus 9 plus 16. So that's the most negative it can be. It's going to be a much bigger number than that, much, much bigger. I mean, much smaller number, I mean, you know, but its absolute value will be much bigger. Zero point one? Oh, okay. So it has the same magnitude as the torque. Um, let's see, when we did the torque, we took the cross product, mu crossed into B. Magnitude, magnitude. Oh, you know why it came out close to the torque? Because the torque is, uh, the torque is uh, mu crossed into B. And the magnitude of the torque is magnitude mu, magnitude b, sine of the angle between them, right? But in their case, the angle is almost 90. So sine of 90 is 1. Okay? So since our angle is close to 90, so the magnitude torque is the same as the magnitude of uh, the potential energy, uh, joules. Okay, so then uh, the final uh, velocity is going to be u initial is u final plus kinetic final, conservation of energy. So negative, the initial potential energy is uh, 2.08 times 10 to the minus 3 is equal to u final, negative 0.1 joules, plus half times the mass, 300 and, what was it, 345 grams, times v final squared. So the negative point 0.1 goes to the left side and becomes positive. And then this minus this becomes some number, right? And then uh, you take this, you multiply it there, and then you get the final V, right? So that's very, very similar to how.